Right, I so rarely come to Chillum when I am here, need to have results. This rig does it. What I call the big rig, 360 rig is what most people refer to it as. I'll run through right from the very top. We've got a loop because I love to use quick change links, especially if you're catching a few fish, it's easier. From that, we've got a flexible link. Reason for that on this venue is I'm fishing in heavy weed for most of it and it allows the rig to sit nicely. With a stiff boom, it might end up sitting up in the water like that. No good at all, not effective. We come down to another loop, allows freedom of movement, as does the swivel on the shank of the hook. From there, we go up, we've got a nice little ring, which allows movement of the bait up and down, the shank of the hook, the blowback. You've got about 10 different rigs in one here, but it all leads to being a very effective rig. Finally, a lovely little fluoro yellow pop-up from my range, a stench one, which works really well here. Started with it last year on here and done really well in this same match. Um, visual on the weed. If they're, you know, if they're just coasting over the top of the weed, that's going to pull them down as well. So the whole mechanics, everything there, leads to success. There's a lot of weed in Chillum at the minute, unusually, from our point of view. And it can be difficult to find precise spots to fish. Now I've found three holes in the weed to fish here and to make sure I recast them every time I mark my line with tape. This is my tape marker here, it doesn't interfere with my casting but each time I'm going to recast to that hole in the weed I reel the tape back, I clip up at the reel here, cast so that the cast actually hits the tape and drops the PVA bag or the end tackle smack on the clear spot. One of the trees behind me is my marker, so each time I'm going to cast, clip up, reel in, bag on, get ready, aim at the tree line marker, cast, touches down, remember to take it out of the clip in case you get a run, and make sure you've got your marker in the right place. I use white tape so I can see it easily at night, and just trim it down as you'll see here and that's your spot marked and you can keep hitting it throughout the session. Unfortunately I don't do as much fishing down in Kent as I'd like to uh, of mid-Kent fisheries but invariably whenever I come here all the fish that I've caught from their waters have come to a PVA trap of some description. Most of those traps involve mesh PVA bags. The first thing to notice about this is it's slightly bigger than you see most people using. I don't want a small bag of bait in my swim, I want lots of bait around the hook bait. Think about several large carp swimming into your swim, the vortexes that are caused by the, the, the tails and the fins, and it's going to wash that small trap away in the blink of an eye. At least with a bigger bag, or as big as I possibly can, dependent on the distance of the one I cast, will ensure at least there's some bait around that, the hook bait, uh, adding to the attraction. So I simply tied them up, and the rig itself. Once you've tied the bag up, the first thing you need to do is obviously attach it to the, to, to the hook. Ensure that everything is as dry as it possibly can be, including the hook bait, because that's going to come in contact with the bag as well. So everything's nice and dry, so you're not standing up to make your cast. As it goes over your head, the thing explodes. Nip as much of the PVA as you can get on the hook. But don't do it through the knot because there's a potential for it to let a nice big blob of PVA that sits on your hook and could mask it and not allow the hook to penetrate. Most of my rigs involve a hair of some description. I'm not a great lover of a hook bait tight to the hook. I like the, the natural movement of the hook bait that that gives. But when you're fishing into weed, there's the potential for that hair to snag up on, on, on weed and ruin your presentation. And the best way to make the little compact, uh, compact package is to push the boilie stop through the mesh of the bag. It's gonna take you a minute or two, possibly, depending on how dexterous you are. But you push one end into the bag and trap the hair stop in. As I say, it can be a little bit fiddly, but it's worth it in the end. It ensures your presentation is great. So that's gripped on to there. And there is the finished package. It's nice and compact, nice and neat. 
it'll settle down gently onto any do bottom debris and, um, and the, your presentation is almost guaranteed. One other thing you'll notice about the, the rig I've got on there or the hook bait is I've got a little bit of plastic on there. I don't actually buy into the theory of um, I don't actually buy into the theory of the, the, the sight of, of the fish. When he's four inches away from it, he can't actually see that because his eyes won't allow him to do it. That bit of plastic is there simply to ne negate the weight of the hook. Because the, the, it's got a little bit of buoyancy, it'll go further into the carp's mouth. The further your hook goes into a carp's mouth, the more chance it has of taking hold. Here we are at the old Chillum charity event. Uh, always a good one every year. Uh, myself and partner Nigel have been doing pretty well really. We're well happy with the results so far. We've had 11 fish up to now. It's 6 o'clock Saturday evening. And fingers crossed we get a few more tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, what we've been doing to get these fishes, simple little thing called a PVA bag clip. Basically a piece of wire running through a semi-fixed lead. Get rid of the uh, plastic in the middle of the lead, hook the clip on, in which case this one got a little lead core leader on there. Slide your beads and bits and pieces up there, helicopter style. -y. Um, PVA bag, in this case full of little crushed club boilies. Pop it in the bottom of the lead and pull everything down tight as you would do the helicopter rig and bag. But the difference with this clip is you get a lot more distance because you haven't got to hook the bag on the end of the hook. And also, you can hook it through the strongest part of the bag, which is the knot, so you get better distance and better accuracy. But you can also very, very lightly put that PVO on the hook there, so there's nothing to impede the hook whatsoever. Little uh, pineapple pop up there, number one shot to hold it down. Put that anywhere you like. There's this, out here, there's only a few areas of, that are weed free, and you can pop it in those little holes, no problem at all. And it's produced some good fish for us, so there's 11 fish um, out of the first six, four were 30s. Uh, 30, 31, 35 mirror, and a 36 common that Nigel had. So uh, we're well chuffed and looking forward to this evening's events.